who was Dale Carnegie? So, do you know who Dale Carnegie is? I do not know who he is. No, no clue. The millionaire. No. Uh, I know of him. I don't know exactly who he is or what he did, but I know about him. I have no clue who Dale Carnegie, Carnegie is. Can you tell me who he is? Uh, most famous alumni from UCM. He has his own class. He wrote his own books. He's the most famous? That's really cool. Yeah, he even has his own bust outside. Really? What is the bus for? Uh, just in honor of him. Oh, okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. Dale came from humble beginnings. He was born on November 24th, 1888 in Harmony Church, Missouri, near Maryville. His parents, James and Amanda, raised young Dale on the family farm in Nodaway County, Missouri. The farm had been struggling for some time with issues including the death of livestock and the ruining of their crops. Fast forwarding to 1906, Dale graduated from high school and decided to attend the local state teachers college known today as the University of Central Missouri. Due to his family's finances, he continued to live at home and ride to school back and forth. He joined the school's debate team where he sharpened his skills as a public speaker. During his time at school, he became entranced with a girl. However, after being rejected, he believed that the reason was due to his financial instability. It was in that moment Dale made his decision. He was going to become rich and famous. By 1908, his struggles with school led him to dropping out completely. After dropping out, he moved to Denver, Colorado for his first job as a salesman, where he only made one sale. Dale felt that this wasn't his calling and decided to quit. From Colorado, he tried his hand at becoming a cattle farmer in Omaha, Nebraska. Unfortunately, just like his father before him, he was unsuccessful. He then took a crack at another sales job, this time with the meatpacking business Armor & Company. Being considered the best salesman during his tenure there, he actually did a great job and was even offered a promotion within the company. Though he was thriving, he still felt like this wasn't his calling. Instead, he wanted to become an actor and moved to New York City. In the Big Apple, he studied at the American Academy of Arts in 1912. After studying at the Academy, he ended up landing a lead role in the roadshow production, Polly of the Circus. However, even after his experience in show business, Dale decided to quit in 1914. Three years later, Carnegie was drafted into the U.S. Army and served for a little over a year at Camp Upton on Long Island. After being discharged from the military, Carnegie was hired as a business manager of a traveling lecture course taught by Lowell Thomas. While working under Thomas, he remembered how he had enjoyed teaching public speaking during his time at college. After some reflection, he realized that all along he wanted to teach, so he quit his business manager position and began teaching public speaking at the YMCA. Dale utilized impromptu speaking to help his students build confidence in their ability to speak in front of a group of people. In 1921, Carnegie married Lolita Bocaire. However, their marriage was an unhappy one and only lasted 10 years. Following the divorce, Dale lost all of his savings due to the stock market crash of 1929. Fast forward to 1932, he published a book titled Lincoln the Unknown, a biography of Abraham Lincoln and his humble beginnings. In 1936, he wrote another book titled How to Win Friends and Influence People, which became his magnum opus. Between the stream of publications, Carnegie married Dorothy Price Vanderpool in 1944. In 1948, he wrote another popular book titled How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Though he became very successful, his time was cut short at the age of 66. He passed away from Hodgkin's disease on November 1st, 1955. Though his time was short, his legacy still remains today through the Dale Carnegie course. And that is the strange life of Dale Carnegie.